Alright then gang, so everything seems to be working so far. We can upvote these and we can add new polls if we want to and everything's hunky-dory. But what I'd like to do now is add a button at the bottom of each one of these polls which we can click to delete that poll from the store. So let's start by going to the poll details component right here and at the bottom of the poll right here we're going to add a button. Now we're going to use a button that we've created inside the shared components folder this custom button right here so first of all let's import that at the top so import button from and it's dot dot forward slash come out of the current folder into shared then we want button dot svelte all right then so down here we can now do another div inside the poll and this will have a class of delete and i'm doing this so that I can style this later on. And by the way, this should be a div and not a sieve. All right. So inside the div, we need a button component. And the button is going to say delete. Now remember, we can pass through some options or props to this button. So if we open up the button, we can see, first of all, we can pass in whether it should be primary or secondary. Primary is red and secondary is green. I want it to be red, so I don't need to actually pass it in at all because the default value is primary. By default, the flat prop is false, but I think I want to change it to true so it is flat and we don't have any drop shadow. And I think I'll stick with the default false value for inverse. So let me go back here and I'm going to pass through, first of all, flat is equal to true. And that's all I need to do. So it should be a flat red button. Cool. Now I want this to be in the center of the poll. So that's why I added this class right here to the div surrounding it. So I can grab that and come down here and style it. So I'm going to say delete. And then I'm going to say, first of all, the margin top is around 30 pixels. And then I also want to say text align center and that centralizes the button then. So if I save, come back, we can see now the delete button is right here. So we need to attach a click event to this so that we can handle that in a function and then delete that poll from the store. So let's first of all say on click. Now I'm not gonna just pass in a function right here for example handle click because we need to pass in data to the function and remember if we do that right here for example the poll dot ID then it's going to automatically invoke this function when the code runs now we need to surround this in an inline function in order for this not to happen so let me do that I'm going to say an arrow function and for some reason when I do a chevron it adds the closing tag for me. I really don't need that help when I'm doing inline functions but nevertheless we have an inline function now and inside that function we're invoking this handle click function right here instead of handle click let's say handle delete like so because that's what we're doing and we're passing in the ID of the current poll remember we have access to that poll because we accept it as a prop right so now we need to create this function right here and I'm going to do it at the bottom. So I'll say comment and deleting a poll. Now under that, I'm going to say const handle delete is equal to a function. And that function is going to take as a parameter the ID of the poll we want to delete. Now we want to update the data in the poll store, right? So we already have the poll store imported at the top. So we can just say poll store dot update we take the current polls like so and we fire a callback function now in here we want to return an updated filtered array where we filter out the poll which has this id so all i'm going to say right here is return current polls and i'm going to say dot filter and inside here i'll take each individual poll as we cycle through the current polls and I'll check does the poll ID not equal to the ID if they don't equal then this will be true and we'll keep that poll in if they do equal then this will be false and therefore it filters it out of the array so this returns a filtered array where we take out the poll with this ID which is what we want and it returns it right here therefore since we return that value the store now contains that value in it okay that filtered array 
So fingers crossed, this should work. I'm going to delete this and it doesn't work. So let's see what's going on. Do we have any errors? Go to the console. No, we don't have any errors. Let me go back over here. And I think it's because we've just not saved the poll details. Schoolboy error. So let me save that and try again. Delete. And no, it still doesn't work. So let me refresh. Nope, no luck. So after a bit of digging, I figured that it's because we have this on click handler right here, but this is not on an HTML button. This is on a custom button component. Now, if we open that up, we can see right here, this button doesn't have an on click handler. So what we need to do is attach an on click handler to that and we don't assign it to any function. Instead, we just forward this event and therefore when a click event occurs on the button, it will be forwarded then to the actual button component where we use it. And now we can listen to that on click event. So I hope that makes sense. That's why it wasn't working. So let me save this and go over here. And now if we delete, now it works. So let's try refreshing, then adding a new poll and adding that poll, delete that poll works, delete this poll, it works. So now this is all working.